And we're back with Manuel. Manuel, what do you have for us now? We are back. So we're going to continue with the hard-boiled eggs. So here, they're nice and cold. Okay. So they're ready to be eaten. Okay. Uh, you just crack it open, maybe under the faucet or in the trash can, and you will have yourself a nice protein ah. snack. And you uh, take out the yolk? I do. I, I try to watch my, uh, my cholesterol intake. Okay. One egg will have about 77% of your daily intake of cholesterol. Whoa. So I'll usually nibble on a little bit and then throw the rest away of the egg yolk and eat, eat the egg, uh, rest of the egg white. Okay. Uh, so that's what I do with that. Okay. So that's, that's one snack then this, to the side. What uh, else do you have? We also have string cheese. Huh. So here I have reduced fat string cheese. And Trader Joe's? This is from Safeway. Uh, 70 calories per serving, 8 grams of protein. Huh. Uh, it's a good snack uh, to have between, say, breakfast or lunch or uh, after dinner. Okay. Uh, now, here, is, here we have some of my favorite fruits. We have uh, a pear and some apples. Okay. Now, what I have here is this sniff little device that helps me chop up apples. Oh, wow. Now, I know if I have these in the, fr in the fridge without it being cut up, uh -huh. I'm less likely to eat it. Yes. So what I do is I cut them up have them in the fridge so they're nice and cold so when they want a quick snack I just go in there and grab a few. You, you're getting your instant gratification that you exactly. so, so satisfying. So here we have this that little device fast. that helps me wow. cut it and what I do is use this you just you, okay to get through to the second one. To get through the second one and then here they come out like this. They just, wow. Now here I have the special piece of Tupperware that helps circulate the air within uh, the piece okay. of Tupperware. This will help it not bruise or brown as much. Okay. And this is what we actually have this lemon, this lime for. The lime helps um, uh, reduce the time it takes for it to brown, oh. so it doesn't look all disgusting and. Oh, I see. Where do you get that device there? To this was a couple is? bucks at Target. Really? So... Does it, what's it called, like an apple slicer or a fruit slicer? It's called, I think it's called apple slicer. Wow. So, okay. we'll have this in here, you know, so mm. it doesn't take too long to cut up, mm. and you have them ready for next time. Here we have a pear, okay. which I like um, either putting in... Um, you can't use the apple slicer for that? I, I tend not to. It doesn't really have that much of a core. Okay. I use a, a nice paring knife here to slice it up. Okay. So here I have this pear, which I just cut yes. up. You just cut up and in not much time. Hopefully not. Doesn't doesn't take too long. And put that in there. Now before I put that in there, I'm gonna cut gonna up this do the, line. Do the line. Now so it just adds a little bit of uh, acid and it reduces the pH of huh of the apples in there so it doesn't brown. Okay. Now if you've ever seen any pre-cut apples uh, like in a little baggie, let's say from like McDonald's or from Trader Joe's, yes. you'll see ingredients. It says apples, acid. Now the acid is to help that so here oh, we have that. Okay, so that's the purpose of it. And it adds a bit of tang to it. Okay, so we'll taste just... and, and preserving. Exactly. So we'll add these pears in there too. Mm. And you have yourself. And... You told me, didn't you, that you were you were hungry not long ago, and you grabbed, and you went into your fridge and you had some cut up fruit. Right. That so happened to happen very recently. This happened about two days ago. So that's where I have this in here. Now, the reason I didn't have it yesterday was because I already ate them all. <laughs> they were by my desk and uh, uh, and they were gone. Oh, a healthy snack. Exactly. So. Do you have anything else for us? Yeah, another snack I like uh, usually at nighttime. Okay. Is a little bit of peanut butter. Okay. Uh, Let's take a look at this here. So, that, so that's a, a Trader Joe's brand peanut butter. Okay. That uh, has some flaxseed oil. Now, when you buy it, it has the oil at the top. What okay. I like doing is opening it up, removing some of the oil. Some of it. Um, keeping the rest and then mixing it. Okay. Give me the name of that peanut butter again. Uh, it's your generic Trader Joe's brand. Okay. Um, instead of jelly, I like using some ripe bananas. So oh. use half a banana, mush it up with uh, your butter knife and use one of these 100-calorie uh, uh, slices of bread. Now with 8 ounces of soy milk, you have yourself a snack. 
Wow, yeah, you do. A low-calorie snack, healthy snack. Now, if you don't want fruits, if you don't want the dairy or this snack, you want something warm, yes. what I'm doing what is do? use this what we use for our dinner, which is this, these turkey meatballs. Yes, yes. Put one or two in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay. And you have yourself uh, a high-protein snack. Oh, wow. So. That's quite a bit. Is there anything else? Dessert. Oh, dessert time, yes. Dessert okay. time. Okay. So, here we have some crispy oatmeal uh, chocolate chip cookies. From Trader Joe's. From Trader Joe's. Of course, being a single guy, you don't want to bake too much. You just want to go home and... Uh, and eat. And eat. So, um, the problem with this is it's you can't regulate how much you're having. It's very hard. Very hard. So, if you have this at your desk, they're probably gone in a couple days. At, at most. <laughs> So here we see the nutrition facts, five cookies at 150 calories. Okay. So it, it's, a, it's a good amount for, for a for dessert. So now here I have some snack pouches. Yes. So what I like doing is uh -huh. putting five in here. Oh. And we having two or three the two of two or three of these baggies lying out and putting okay. this away. Putting it somewhere. Deep somewhere, in the recesses somewhere deep of your, where yeah. you can't find it. Yes. And oh, that's smart. I like that. They sort of do that. You know, you have those hundred calorie snacks. Right. You have those hundred calorie snacks. You can do it yourself for less money. Exactly. Yeah. So you have right here uh, a good serving size. Oh. And yeah. you know if you're having too much because you just grab another bag. You just grab another bag. Yeah. So it's a boundary for yourself. Exactly. So that's why I like keeping them around. Anything else you have for us? Uh, you can usually have some wine. Ryan oh, has about a yeah, wine. Lot, lot of good antioxidants, especially the red one. Okay. Um, some say before going to bed. Before be going to bed, healthy. yeah. It's a little wine. Uh, each serving, about six ounces, has about 130 calories. Okay. You can also go with light beer. Light beer has 100 calories, let's say a Coors Light. Okay. Um, or what I like doing, if I don't want to get made fun of for drinking light beer, it's having a Guinness. Oh, okay. A Guinness has, uh, for a 12 ounce serving, 125 calories. That's pretty low. And it's quite tasty. Uh -huh. So that's what I like having. Uh, usually some of your hoppier IPAs has about two to 300 calories per serving. Wow. So be sure not to drink your calories and just uh, yes. uh, have Before a good light beer and keep hydrated with water. Sounds good. Yeah. So. That's uh, I that think that calls it a day. All right, yeah, that, that's a, it's a, a scrumptious day. Yes, indeed. Okay, thanks, Manuel. Good luck and stay healthy. Thank you.